Hi, I'm Nick van der and uh, we're here at the end of a very busy week at the uh, Piet, uh, Piet's Terrace and the uh, IHOP. Uh, we've uh, moved all the sensors out. Um, what we've been working on all week is that the sensors that were designed and built in the previous months were taken out to Nairobi and we've been working on to try to build the link from these sensors which are in different states of uh, readiness uh, through a central heart which is uh, the Raspberry Pi connecting to the internet being projected into what we call the intelligence operations for water which is a large uh, IBM based uh, operating system which will show the data uh, we're going to go th very rapidly through the different sensors and then we say a little thing about the Raspberry Pi and then we end up with uh, a shot of the IDOW please go ahead I'm lucky for thank you from Futa, Nigeria. We have built some sensors. We have a radiation sensor, social sensor, psychometer, psychometer to measure our rate, input pressure, and dew points. Then we have a reinforced sensor. And the rainfall sensor, and we call it tipping bucket. Then we have the evaporation sensor. Thank you. My name is Ahmed Balogun um, from Federal University of Technology, Agre, representing Team Futa, Nigeria. Uh, just like my colleague has said, he is also from Team Futa. We have a couple of sensors. He did mention a few of them, and including the anemometer, which you can see here. Thank you. I am Hope Orobode from the Covenant University team in Ota, Nigeria. Here we designed two sensors. The first one is this, which will measure the direction of the wind, and we have another one which measures both the direction and the speed of the wind. We can measure the speed of the wind by the pressure of the wind acting on the diaphragm. Thank you. I'm Futuku Adimola from Obafemi Aulewa University, Electronic and Electrical Engineering Department. And here we built a temperature, a pressure, humidity, and dew point sensor all in one. So um, it uh, measures all these um, weather variables and gives us the output. Thank you very much. I am Okola Abdullah from Obafemi Aulewa University, a member of Team Impact from that <coughs> school. And we have built a relative humidity sensor here. Yeah. As you can see. Uh, I'm Nii Oke, also a member of Team Impact from OAU, Nigeria. Uh, and we designed this with our other teammates. Oh, oh that's Thank not a good idea. Yeah. I'm Uganda James from Zimbabwe, the University of Zimbabwe in Harare. I've been working on the electric, electronic barometer, which uses magnetism as a transducer. So as you can see here, there is an anorid capsule which senses the movement and also changes the change in the magnetic field to avoid it. Thank you. My name is Gilbert Kamau from Kenya University, Jomo Kenyatta University of Science and of Agriculture and Technology. We have designed the can uh, with direction, with, with direction, with speed and with temperature sensor. And then we connect that to this gadget here, which displays it. I'm Kenneth Obiambo, instrumentation and control engineer. Gilbert and I have designed the wind speed, temperature, and direction sensor. This is the, the brain of the system that will display the data and transmit it to the main controller, the Pi. Thank you. I'm Irene Harim from UVM University. We make three different projects, but we are here to defend a soil humidity sensor. And it works uh, with the top equation, and it measures, yeah, and it measures uh, the soil moisture. Asim Glee from Cambridge University. I'm here representing the Raspberry Pi Foundation. I've been working on integrating all the sensors created by the teams with into the Raspberry Pi and then uploading it to IBM's Intelligent Operations Center. 
It's been a real pleasure working with everyone this week. Uh, I'd like to say congratulations to everyone. Um, look forward to seeing it all working. Uh, Sarada George from Macquarie University. And I've been working on radiation sensor that uh, uses transistors and photodiodes. Uh, this looks at incoming shortwave radiation and longwave radiation, then uh, the outgoing longwave radiation. So these were the sensors. Um, they're all connected now through wires that you see here and there on the table to, and it's difficult to find, but here it is. This is sort of the brains at the moment. This is the Raspberry Pi. It's a full-fledged computer. Uh, it's extremely flexible. It runs Linux. Uh, and it costs about 30 euros. Here you can see a, a better shot, if you want, of a typical Raspberry Pi. Um, now, this now connects to the internet and, and sends every minute all the data. It scans through all the sensors and sends all the data uh, to the uh, intelligence operations for water of IBM, which, as you can see, no wires attached, uh, <laughs> comes all the way. Uh, Probably goes around the world three times before it comes back on the, on the roll screen who will uh, explain it a little bit more. Yeah, so all the sensors um, are given a location um, and a timestamp every time they do a measurement. And I have here a map of Nairobi where you can see the different sensors. So there's a, there's a wind speed sensor somewhat south of, Nairobi, of Wilson Airport. And there happens to be here on Long Road where we are 21 sensors that happen to be on this table right next to me. So you can see the IDs of all these sensors here. And if we scroll down a little bit, we can see that these sensors actually have recent values uploaded to this environment. Uh, this environment is pretty data heavy, so there's also a light version, which I have in this other tab, where I can just pick one of the sensors of one of the teams, so I could pick the air temperature sensor here, and then ask for, uh, for recent readings, which shows that it has been cooling down slightly, about 0.3 of a degree, over the course of this presentation. <laughs> Thanks, I think it was a great week. I think uh, maybe we can all cheer one time uh, for Tamo. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.